Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This is the first in the series of Microsoft Word 365. Let's go ahead and open Microsoft Word. Okay, so you'll see a number of options with the home selected on the left hand side here on the top left here and it displays access to a blank document and also a list of templates that you can select and then down below you will see the recently worked on files and then if you click on any of these documents you'll be able to open any of the recent files that you have worked on. If it's the first time that you are opening up Microsoft Word, you may not see recently worked on files. So it will start sh showing up when, once you have worked on a number of Word documents. And it also has a pin option. So if you select pin this item the document will appear in the pinned section so for example if i pin this document here it will appear in the pinned section as you can see here so if you want to quickly access any documents or your favorite documents quickly you can pin them and you can straight away go to your pinned section and open the document. So there's also a section called Share With Me where you'll find files that have been shared through OneDrive or SharePoint. And then if you click on New, it will display a bunch of templates that you can select. Or you can search for templates online so there are many templates available or you could just simply search for a template and below new you get the open option where you can open any files that you have worked with before so you can open files that were shared with you or through OneDrive or open files in OneDrive. If you're logged in with a business account, you'll see your business account here or your SharePoint account. You can browse locations on the PC. If you click on browse, it will open up the file explorer window and it will take you to the most recent place that you have saved your word document and you can open the file from there so let's go ahead and open the test document and open this document here okay so the default view is in the print layout the print layout displays the document in the exact way that it will print out Then there's another mode called the read mode. So if you don't want to get distracted with these ribbons at the top or any other options here, you can click on read mode. And you can, if you have more than like three pages, so you can scroll left and right using these arrows here. And if I zoom in, so that the all the ribbons are hidden and the menus are hidden as well. And then you can also switch back to the print layout by clicking on the print layout icon on the bottom right here. 
or you could simply click on view and click on edit document which takes you back to the print layout so there's another layer we call the web layout this is if you are going to put this document on a web page or save this as a web page and upload that onto a website so if you click on web layout it displays the document as if it were a web page so guys that's the basics of Microsoft Word okay let's go ahead and close this document so I'm gonna click on file and then I'm gonna click on close yep that close the document so if there were changes made uh, word would prompt you to save those doc changes so guys that's how to open close and read documents on Microsoft Word 365 if you like the video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel see you in the next word video thanks for watching